not to call it English, but this, called, uh, this feel the sea question, basically asking if there's all this suffering and misery in the world, how can, how can there be a God in the, say, in the sense that is proposed by Catholicism? Okay. And so, I didn't get, until now, until this day, I did not get a satisfactory okay. answer that, to that. That's good. This is an important question. And actually, this question has been asked by many people who literally, who leave religion, because of, because of this, because of this, because they didn't get the answer uh, yeah. properly. Now, I thought, for example, that you study more into, you know, into, more into Catholicism, and you maybe understood more things which it doesn't make sense, not just only answering these questions. Because according to the Christianity, that they say this God is all merciful. Okay, God is all merciful. And then they say they blame, they blame the devil. They say yeah. this is the world of devil. So the devil is blamed for everything, for all the calamities that happen. As if God is watching from above there, allowing the devil to control all of these things. And they say, you know, God has nothing to do with this world. And then that means why we need to turn to God to ask his mercy, to ask his forgiveness, all of these things. If and, and, and literally, those, those, these concepts actually, actually it exist as well in the Russian, yeah? In the Russian religion, in the Russian faith. In because, the Russian, uh, the Orthodox, uh, no, 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 not Russian, the Russian, which is the, the, you could say, the Persian, the old Persian. Ah, yeah, yeah. They had this, they had this concept. This, they, had, they said they, they, they believe in two gods, two equivalent, yeah, same power. Those two gods, one of them is God of good and one of them is God of evil. The God of evil does all of the evil things in the world and the God of good does all the good things that happen in the world. And they keep fighting each other in a way and then they said if you wanted to, you worship the God of good in order to get salvation, in order, for example, to be protected, etc. And all of this, this concept exists there. Yeah. So the issue is, it's exactly this concept. It happens as well amongst, uh, in, 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 in the church, they say this is the, the, this is the devil, the devil's world. The, the devil is in control, is in charge of all of these calamities. That's why this is the, this is the answer that they, they try to run and try to answer this. To, uh, this is actually, I believe, this is running from the truth. Yeah? And as well, there are some Muslims who claim to be Muslims who are called, they are called Qadariya. And this is something maybe the term just to explain. That those people, they said that we have the absolute free will in this world. Absolute free will. Yeah. And they say, that the whatever happens in the, whatever it, ev evil that happens in this world this is because of the people things and ha god has nothing to do with it god will be notified about this after it happens and that's literally this is something which is against the teaching of islam now if i answered you about this from islamic point of view which will make sense yeah firstly secondly I know that you say you inside you you know there is a higher being there. Oh, it, I don't. You I don't. don't. You don't believe there is a higher being no, at all. I don't. Okay. Let's 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 talk about it bit by bit and then we'll come to the we'll come to the conclusion. So if it, if you say there is no higher being, there is no there is no creator for this universe. How did this universe come into existence? Oh, good question. Yeah. I mean, um, science. Good question. Quite, need a good answer. Yeah. Science <laughs> hasn't quite given uh, uh, you know the why for. How I mean, there's a model of how our universe expanded and how we came to yeah. be in the you know the universe in, in a uh, scientific point of view, how okay, stars good. and planets, all the stuff were created. Yeah, yeah. But why? Um, I mean, science has no answer for that yet. Maybe I'm not. I'm not saying yet in, in, in brackets. Maybe yeah, yeah. because science is not to find a reason necessarily just to explain if there is a process to explain. Yeah, but but the science doesn't answer everything. You know that. Yeah, Especially I mean, in the matter of metaphysics. I mean, generally, there is no general answer there. But let me just give you some hint. From your point of view? From our point of view, from logical point of view, let, let alone logical point of view, which all of us agrees on these, for example, some kind of concept. For example, if you came to your house, yeah, yeah. and then you found, and you found something, yeah. for example, you found a laptop on your table, yeah? Yeah. you cannot say, assume, that these particles in the in the world they came together magically and magically and then the, not ma you say magically that shows oh. that shows it means it's not happening except randomly magic. just yeah so randomly it doesn't yeah. come like this and then you open this laptop and then you find there are data which exists on that laptop you say oh you cannot assume that all of these things happen yeah. by themselves you would assume someone placed it yeah that's our own logical general as you say there someone placed it and someone created this laptop and someone put it on my table and someone inserted all of this data there yeah, yeah? 
So it cannot happen by itself. Now, let's, ag let's agree, which is, which is more sophisticated? This humongous universe that has all of these things, or the laptop that was on your table? Which is more sophisticated? I mean, the universe, obviously. Of course. Okay, universe. So that's why to say the, that if you agree that the, our socks or our shoes or your jacket or whatever, it has to have a creator to do it the way that it is. But, so that's why you cannot assume that this universe doesn't have a creator. Or you will go with these, with these conclusions to say either the universe was there forever, always there, or, or the universe created itself by itself. Yeah, that's another logical, yeah. for example, yeah, logical yeah. Yeah. so created itself by itself. Or there is an independent higher being that made it to exist. Yeah, another option, yes. So, so that's one of the options. So these things, now if you wanted to choose now here, to say the universe was there always, was there forever, was there always there and will stay always there. That we know that the universe has a beginning, yeah. So the since no, yeah, the, our known universe has a beginning, and as well, and all of the scientific, for example, facts confirm that it has a beginning. Yeah. So due to this, this is literally. Yeah, it cannot have been there. Forever. It cannot be there yeah. forever. Plus, as well, in science, to say infinity was there always forever. What do you mean forever? Does ever has start? So they have, they have to be a starting point. Yeah, they have to be an ending point. All of these things. Then the next one to say, the universe created itself by itself, meaning, as if you say that the universe pre-existed before its existence. Like to say, for example, I give birth to myself. You understand? Yeah. When, I, when you say this, as if you were there before you were there. Yeah, you cannot, pre, you cannot predate your existence. That's exactly. Yeah. So this again, that's totally again. So you're saying, due to this consideration, yeah. the only logical conclusion would be a creation by... Or, or there is another thing they say, okay. The, nothing, and then the universe came and goes from nothing. From nothing, yes. From nothing. And we know, logically, nothing produces nothing. Well, to be fair, in quantum physics, um, there are energy fluctuations on such a tiny... Energy. On such a tiny time scale that energy. they come from nothingness and go to nothing. With energy. With energy. So energy, but, energy but is not from nothing. from the vacuum, from the vacuum. Yeah, but from there's so nothing. there's energy. So the issue is, you see here, that's the, that's the issue here, that's the, the key thing. Again, even in quantum physics, when you many people bring brings this, yeah, but they don't, but they don't nullify the aspect of energy. Oh yeah. yes, they do. That's exactly the thing. There is no vacuum of energy. You see that the point is because this energy is something which you can't control. You can't control the light as energy. You cannot control the gravity as energy. You cannot control all of these things. You see, the, the point is to say, so so that's why nothing literally produces nothing. Yeah. If there is an empty thing that has no energy, has no any any atoms, has nothing there, it will produce nothing. Yeah. So then the last option which we have, which we know, yeah, there is a higher being, yeah. This higher being that is made this universe to exist. And this is by the way, this is not our own for example conclusion. Even the Greek philosophers, you know, before Islam, they discussed this. And they came to this conclusion and they call it the unmove mover, the one who moves everything, even though we don't have as Muslims to use what they have said. But again, but that confirms as in even people who try to use their logic, try to use their own analogy with using their own, yeah. our own intellectual ability to, to come to conclusion that this universe, it has, it has to come into existence by higher being. It cannot come by itself. It cannot come by nothing. It has to come by higher being. You understand? Especially, especially if we got the, the computer on your table example, to say the particles get together and then they do this and all of it, it, it literally does. That is literally impossible with the existence of the, of the energy, with the existence of all of the material around it, it you said it, it cannot happen, especially with data there. So that's why, do you agree that there is? That option, which is out of these four options, that's only the only option that is logical, that for the for the universe to be existed. See, there I have to disagree. I don't I'd agree that this is the only necessary option. I wanted to make two quick points. First, just about to deal to this, I, I, I study physics, so yeah. I want to get this point about quantum physics right. Yeah. In quantum field theory, it says explicitly that in the vacuum state where there's nothing, no energy, no nothing, 
the expectation value of energy, which should be expected to be zero, right? There's nothing there, vacuum. The expectation value is zero, but in the you know expectation value is always a mean time. It's always a mean over some some time. Yeah. That is zero, but in the time in between, there can be fluctuations out of nothingness. That is a possibility. It's consistent with quantum field theory and our understanding of the universe. Just the, just for yeah, the, 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 what still... I'm trying to say is you cannot have like a vacuum box and all of a sudden have yeah, yeah. Like two molecules. Yeah, no, okay. yeah, I yeah, understand. So it doesn't produce molecules. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, the, I'm the point is, to get that point yeah, of even uh, I'm saying even it doesn't. You know, you cannot expect expect the molecules to exist in that vacuum thing. So when there is nothing, I'm talking about this this nothing, the emptiness. I mean, you're talking about an empty space. Yeah. Again, we're, to, we're talking about the space. Again, we're talking about this space, which is, do you know, do you know what it means? That means there should be a space for the space to exist in. Do, do, you see, do you see how it goes? So to become more, even more sophisticated, if you think about it just as the universe, when we talk about the space, when we talk about the, the in, in cosmology, yeah? So when they, when they, even when they talk about the Big Bang, did they, when the Big Bang starts, was it started in a space or in empty or in, in singularity at the, the singularity that there is a space there to exist there because you know you these for example these molecules the initial molecules or whatever whatever you want to name it so it, it, you know they, they had to have even a space around it to start whatever the big bang that happens it's, which mean, and as well they have to have an energy at certain level in order for for the big bang to exist even though we we don't have to believe in the Big Bang theory. At the end of the day, it's a theory. We don't have to believe that it is well, the only value. There's, there's strong evidence. Yeah, there are, they are, they are. I don't know. Listen, in Islam, Islam as well doesn't support a theory, for example. But Islam as well, there are some scholars of Islam, they said about some verses of the Quran, talks about the Big Bang to say, for example, that the heavens and earth, they were in one, like one, one, one particle and then they, they split. So we have this verse in the Quran confirming this. But the way that, uh, and some scholars of Islam, they said, no, not necessarily we have to agree with the Big Bang. So we have two sides at the end of the day. But nevertheless, nevertheless, the point is, even if we go with the Big Bang theory, and uh, as you agree with, yeah, even if we go with this, still, it, it didn't come from nothing. That's the point is. So these... That's the second point I wanted to make. Yeah. Because he said, as you said correctly, we cannot look before the Big Bang. You cannot predate your existence, right? However, there's a theory that, because everybody, you know, scientists have also wondered, like, what was before the Big Bang? How did this work? And if I'm not wrong, there's a theory basically saying that the universe, which we know is right now expanding, at some point will collapse and sort of what we see as the Big Bang, the beginning of our universe, was just, before that was the death of another universe, it shrunk again and exploded again. So yeah, they, they, say, they, say, they say this. They, they have this, the multi-universe. They have, yeah. they, they have the, they, they say this in terms and, of but it. Because you said there has to be a beginning and an end. But if you think of a circle, it has no beginning and an end, but it's also close. Like, yeah, the, 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 the issue is, that, again, the issue is, you see, again, all of these things are, are theories which has no any facts. Yeah? Mm -hmm. All what you said, yeah. these are, an, uh, you say, this is an assumption, even as it didn't it even reach, ten years it didn't time. even reach to a theory. The, the Big Bang, it reached to a theory. Yeah. But this assumption, the multi-universe thing, it's assumption. They assume that there is a universe before, and this universe came, so, so still it's an assumption done it's by some, yeah. even though some, you could call it a theory, but again, the theory, it should have kind of proofs to say that it, it, it well, is there. I'm not into the research proofs of that, but yeah. I think this, uh, so I read it, has, it, I read it, it in journals, yeah, yeah, they, they say it, it has no idea. It, the yeah. people that who presented this, they, yeah. they will have some evidence for yeah. it. I, you know, didn't read the papers yeah. in the scientific I community, understand, but it has, just not, literally, they again, it, they it, has, it, it has no proofs. Like, like physical, physical I, I or cosmological hints to it. They I'm have hints. They yeah, they, they, anyone right. they, they have hints. Because well, that's people. what they say. They say at the end of the day, when the when this universe it will shrink eventually, and it will shrink, everything will collapse, and then it will restart again, and then it will shrink. I'm talking about the big. The, I'm talking about the beginning of everything. I'm not talking about, you know, you know. I'm not talking about this after when it shrink and then the same as before. It. I'm talking about the beginning of everything. But even if we assume that it at like. If there is like emptiness and there is no beginning and there is some fluctuations of energy yeah. what i find really fascinating if even if this is true how can this like universe c come this perfectly how is the human body this perfectly how exactly. is the orbits this perfect you know yeah. they cannot this cannot be just it's, it's, it you know, cannot be random random it cannot be random it cannot no? not be okay you have now. a logical conclusion that explicitly rules out that it cannot be so random. there must be like Okay, why is think, about it. think about it. Why yeah. is higher power that... Why? Why? Do you have a... 
because okay, let, let me, let how me would an iPhone come from the desert? iPhone is a is a we genius create, device. We created, we created it. We created it. So you cannot assume that walking in the, into the desert, right, and finding an iPhone, you can. You saying is why it cannot be random, you know? Same, same, cannot, the same concept. So how genius ah, I, see, I see your point. You're saying if iPhones were we we were necessary to create iPhones or laptops. Not not we, not only we. We're talking about even people who are literally reach the level of scholars, of, of scholarly level in terms of physics, in terms of you know creating objects and yeah. creating, for example, those ones who created these phones or these laptops or whatever, you know, even this, including this mic that that I'm yeah. having, that the, the there are a lot of a lot of scientific work that being done in order for the things to happen you yeah, understand sure, sure. so you don't you don't expect someone who is a shepherd in, in some desert or something to say you know what i created this you don't expect it you say that you know you need to study at certain level you need to attend oh, okay. so that's, that's all of these things yeah so level. can you imagine that we are talking about even things which is more than the microscopic level. Yeah. We're talking about things which is the, like literally the, some of these, uh, you know, uh, uh, some of these bacteria or virus, even now yeah. what's, the, the, what's, what's happening nowadays. This virus that has is so tiny that you need to have a special, you know, microscope just to see what is inside. Yeah. Yeah. So, and it has a life and it does things. Do you see the point? So all of these, all of these sophisticated things in this universe, and let alone the big and the giant thing as the humongous universe around us. Yeah. So and that is from that you conclude there has to be a higher, very intelligent creator from uh, all these. Okay. So you think that this, uh, the, 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 there is no need for any intelligence to do to do all of these things? No, I don't know. I mean, you don't. You, you say because of um, you know how everything turned out, so the world, the body, and stuff. Um, in the same way that we concluded, if some, if there would magically or for some reason to appear a laptop in your in your, in your room with data, and we would we would all agree that that's not going to come from nothingness. You say our existence. What has do you to say if you found a laptop in your in your in yes, your see, room? I would I would of course I would assume someone placed it there and not. So will you say definitely someone placed it there? Or it came. Uh, if, will, if will you say it, Will you say sincerely, like I mean, and seriously, that you say this? Are you able to say at any point that this laptop? Was it created from nothing? Came into your room with all of these data? Will with you say this? Of sand, is there you know, any possibility? Of course, the of time, course I, is I would, there any possibility highly, that it could happen? Highly unlikely. I would say it's nearly impossible that that create that, so, that is possible. So it's impossible. However, however, this is a you cannot say from the laptop scenario. You cannot take this as an analogous for the creation of no, the no, universe. No, no. I'm, I'm just let's, let's listen. If we agree on the laptop scenario, yeah, then we'll agree on other things, yeah. I, I, I will tell you. I will tell you why. Depends, because, depends. because listen, because listen, we're not talking about and we're not talking about a random incident that happens. We're talking about uh, uh, many incidents. For the laptop, now. Not, not laptop. For in this universe, many incidents that came into it. Many incidents. This universe, the the orbits, the sun, the moon, the way that is structured, the the the, the possibility of the life on Earth, the life itself. The, you know these all these all these creatures, yeah, all these things that came into existence, yeah, and each one has its own sophisticated body, which is different than the others, yeah, and and us as a human being, and us being, you know, reproduction, and all of these sophisticated things that in cinema, we're not talking about one incident. If you said it is impossible, or most likely to be impossible for for a laptop to happen. I'm not talking about one incident, I'm talking about all these millions or trillions of, of all of these incidents that happens in this universe, which is pretty much impossible each one to happen, but yet it happened. Do you, you see the point? So if you say that incident, if you see the, that the laptop incident that took place, then okay, what about another phone to be there? What about other things to happen? What about other, other, other sophisticated things? What about if you see, if you see socks? place on your socks. No, I'm not talking about socks. Just socks, just to be there on your bed. And then you say, oh, maybe, you know, the art or, you know, these particles, they came, they came together, they made these strings, and these strings, they just, you know, hold I, I in know each other in order. It in might order. be a possibility, but it is tiny compared to yeah, a reasonable I, explanation. Absolutely, absolutely. Not even agree. tiny. But no, however, not even tiny. Like, uh, not even tiny. Yeah. Basically, but compared to, yeah. yes, yes, so, yes, totally. doesn't so that's why, how about us as, a, as, as, as being, as a human being, mm -hmm. how about us, how we came into existence, if, if, if our socks, yeah, which cannot is, come into cannot come from into being from nothingness. How us as a human being came from yeah. without okay. any randomness? I see your point. I see your point. Yeah. 
So, do, do you see the point? And I someone, see, someone who studied point. physics. I see the point you're you know, trying to make. Because well, I'm, I'm a mathematician, I myself, so I understand okay. what I'm talking about. So when I'm saying this, yeah, when I'm saying this to you, I'm saying this to you out of understanding the physics, understanding the you know the, the mathematics, and understanding that these things. It cannot happen by nothing, so it has to have Agreed. Agreed. Has to. So we'll, uh, let's let's say, for example, hypothetically, that there is uh, there is higher, a higher being. This higher this higher being, that's the, the solution which we came to the conclusion. This higher being, you know, create all of these things and made all of these things, and that's what the Greek the Greek philosopher they call it the unmoved mover, the one who moves everything, but is not moved, is not moved by anything. But yes. he's that means has the three main characteristics. What is it? What are they? He's all powerful to create this universe. He's all knowing, but he's so knowledgeable to do to do things, and has a will, meaning there is no. It's not random. He it's not does random. Something with he does things with intent. He does things with intention. He does uh, with intent to do things. He, he you know, uh, that, that that's that's what we call it, the God, the divine, the creator of the heavens and earth. Now, many of the religion they didn't come to to the, to answer many of the question, including, for example, Christianity. Because what happens, they made it a bit more complicated. They made, they made this, this higher being, they give, them that, they give him the attribute of, of a human being. But this all-powerful becomes suddenly with no power. This all-knowing becomes suddenly, doesn't have, doesn't have the knowledge of certain things. Uh, this, uh, the one who has the will, suddenly he has no control of his will. So all of this, that's what the, this is what the son, you know, in the, in the, in the Trinity, in the Christianity, yeah, yeah. This later, that became, became weak. People ask him about certain questions, he can't answer the question because he, is, he doesn't have the knowledge of them. And as well, the third thing that he doesn't have a will, and he was referring to the will of his, of his creator. So the point is, so this, they try to give the attribute of the human being to this, to this, uh, to this person. Where in fact, and that is where the, the you know the misguidance that happens in Christianity, and that's why they, of course when they come to the point to say why all of these calamities, all of all these earthquakes, all of these problems that happen and this and that, where is this the merciful God that He is talking about His mercy and His compassion? So they came to the conclusion that God, God must be unjust and He's not taking care of the world. Yeah, and then they said to answer it, they said this is the devil's war. This is not the yeah, this is that's, not that's, the, that's the solution. That's the solution problem. to this yeah, problem. I see. But in fact, in Islam, no, we don't, we don't, we don't. We, don't, we say we don't uh, hide, hide behind our thumbs. We say in Islam that all these things that happen in this earth, yeah. that because of the will of God, His will okay. is in heaven as His will in earth. Okay. So it is His will that all these calamities that happens, all of these things, it is by His will. But why He, why God allow all of these things to happen? Yeah. What is the purpose behind all of this? That's for us to know that God he created us for a purpose. This purpose is literally to be thankful and showing our gratitude to, the, to, to God by submitting to His will. And to know that this life is only, we are going through a test, it's a test. And that's why, and if there is no darkness, we cannot appreciate the light. Now it's gonna be dark soon. We cannot appreciate the day. We don't know what, what the day is. If, if you always live, the, live, live in a day, you cannot appreciate what's the day, what's the day and the night. So, and, and there is always light, uh, and, and if there is no darkness at all, that you cannot appreciate, you know, the, the existence of the light. Similarly, if there is no evil that happens in this universe, that means we cannot appreciate the goodness that is that 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 you know that that we we have it already. So and as well, it's part of part of that. God is able to create. God created angels, which they are fully submissive to His will, and they don't make they don't make sins, and they are just only submitting to His will. So that's if He wants to create more, you know, uh, more people to submit to Him, we create more angels. Uh, God wanted to create a, a, a creation that has a will, not just only like an animal, that they're just only about the food and, and reproduction and, and their desire. And not, uh, not like the angel that just only submitting to his will. No, God, God wants this human being that has a desire and yet resist his or her desire in order to submit to, the creation, to, to, his, to their creator. Okay. So God wants this to happen. So that's why, and if there is no any hardship that the people face, the people will not understand the concept of the test in this, in this world. And that's why we say, whatever happens, God has said, in the, even our prophet, peace be upon him, he said in the hadith, he said, he said, everything that happens to the, to the believer, that is good. Every, anything that happens. If something sad happens to him, something, you know, evil, evil or sad that happens to him, then he is patient.
he's, he's paying severance towards it. He's, de he's dealing with it according to the will of God. And this is good. And, 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 this is, and this is good for him because at the end of the day, we know that this life is limited. Eventually, all of us are going to die and then we're going to be accountable for our deeds that we have done. On the other side, as well, if something joyful happened to this person, and he is thankful to God that for the things that, that, that happens to him, and that's good for him. So on either side, it is good, it is good whatever happens. So do you see how we, that's how Islam answers this question, and that's how Islam will say, no, actually, it is actually the will of God that whatever happens, it is by the will of God. Okay. Someone will say, will argue, say, what about a child or a baby that dies and has no, an innocent baby, whatever. Yeah, it happens, these things happen, but God, you don't know what God has, has has prepared for this innocent child in the hereafter. You don't know all. Of, we don't know all of these things. So that's why we leave all of these, and we believe that this God is all just, all merciful. Yeah. But as well, we have to turn to His mercy, and He showed His mercy as well to all of the things that is around us. For example, like you were born, and you, your mother took care of you. And if you think about it from random people who are from, from uh, atheist, atheist, you know, understanding to say, okay, why does the mother need to take care of her child? And think about it. I mean, why does, what does, why does she need to do that? Think, you know, if you deeply think about it, if you think that the others for us, for our survival, or for example, for reproduction, that this, this, uh, you know, you could say natural disposition that we have, yeah? And this innate that we have in order just to, to, to protect our lineage. But okay, hold on a second. But why we don't? Why we do? If, if we do this, what is the purpose? What is the purpose of that? We have a lot. There are a lot of human beings. If it's about, if it's about just a human being, we have a lot of human beings. Why the, every single mother who is very careful about her own children and taking care of them and protecting them, and they might even lose their lives, literally protecting their children. Yeah. That's why. That's one of the things which we believe that God has mentioned, and, and our Prophet peace be upon him. He said that part of the mercy of God that He has sent down on earth, and He has sent down amongst us that to the extent that a mother will take care of her children, whether a human being or animal or something. That's part of His mercy. Made it. Made it amongst us. Yeah. And that's why these things are in our nature. And that's how Islam answers all of these questions about you know the existence and all of these things. So your your answer to the question why is there suffering if, if there is supposed to be a God is in Islam you say it is God's will to sort of make us appreciate all the good things in life. If there's no hardship you cannot um, allow allowed it to happen. Yes, God allows these things to happen. Yeah, we hurt each other. Yeah. For example, if someone hurt each other, we hurt each other. Yeah. We do things, we do evil things to each other. We are blameworthy for the things that we do. Yeah. But again, God allows these things to happen yeah. in order, yeah. in order there, if there is, again, if there is, for example, if there, if you go to exam, and you attend, I assume you attend many exams, and if your teacher told you, all of you are going to pass, is that exam? No. It's also not exam. So there is an aspect that there are going to be people who will fail, so due to this, you will study hard in order for you not to fail, isn't it? Yeah, but an exam is a bit different from an earthquake or something, if, or catastrophes that you might want to explain with religion. Yeah, the, again, the catastrophe that, ha that has is part of the things that happens in this world. Part of all of these things that happen in this world. In order, and at, the, at the end of the day, all of us are going to die by one cause of, or by another. Yeah, we're going to die eventually, but either by long age, either by diseases, either by different things. People, they die in different things. Yes. True. Now, now, if people dies through an earthquake or if people dies due to different things, yeah? yeah, this is the thing here for the people to realize about. Okay, you know, we need to turn. We need to turn to God. We need to know at, at the end of the day, all of us, you know, for us as as Muslims, for example, you say you think we don't get hurt, we're like other human beings. I know. I yeah, know. we we're like other human. We get hurt. We you know we we suffer. And in many Muslim land, you know, nowadays you see, unfortunately, they are. You know, there are wars. wars and different things, yeah. So these things happen. Yeah, but look how the people deal with it. Look how the people like literally their mental stability, how dealing right. with it. Yeah, praying and knowing that even if I die, you know, at least I but wanted to do it. Ah see, this is knowing and, and believing is two different things. They believe in that and for them they say I know because yeah. they believe in it so firmly. Yeah, yeah. And I respect it. If you're a firm believer in that and you, you believe it so firmly that you know we're also that's, discussing about this. That's, we're speaking about the difference between blind faith, like we just believe that we're gonna go to heaven if we go. Yeah, we have yeah. also evidence. We don't just okay I believe in God and that's it. So it's not 
as yeah. simple as that. We have like a lot of evidence, you know. On, on, so basically, we were talking about this yeah, yeah. previously about is all religions like uh, have the truth or claim to have the truth? Yes. So, or do they really have the truth, all of them? So every that, every religion would claim they, they have. They claim they have the truth. Yeah. But do they like? Uh, but do they have the absolute truth? Sorry. Now we say that's why when we go to other than Islam, how Islam is dealing with these things. Now we say you said people they have this the faith. Now here we have a lot of things as well. We as 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 for example, let's say. I don't know if you have practiced this in your life, but we as Muslims, we practice this on a daily basis. We supplicate to God. We ask. We ask certain things. Yeah? Many of us, our requests happen. Not because we blindly following that this will happen. Not because we think, as some people, they say, if you think about something good, it will happen to you. Who said this? According to who? And this is what many, many atheists, by the way, to say. Think about something good, it will happen yeah, to you. Yeah, but that's, that's nothing to do with atheism. That's just uh, naivety. Yeah, yeah, naivety. But it's not about we thinking. We, we supplicate, we make dua, we say, we say, oh God, help me and such and such and such. And, it, and many of us, happens to them exactly what they request, what they are asking. So that's why even many people, many, even many atheists who came to Islam, they say this, and many of them, they said this. They sit down, they said, okay, at, at a point, many of them, they said to me, this person, and some of them, they put, you could check in videos, the atheists who okay. came to Islam. Okay. And there is one, I think one doctor in America, he's, he was atheist, what's his name? Uh, uh, something, Ang, something. One of the doctors, he, he was, yeah, the, no, the, one professor, a mathematics, math, he's a mathematician, professor, and he was the head of, the, uh, he was the head of, of atheist society, <coughs> who came to Islam. And he was saying, he was talking about his story, and then he said, one of the, one of the things, just check him, maybe put yeah, him yeah. On, on Google. Uh, you know, just mathematics, you know, uh, uh, professor math and, and math mathematics in America, so, who became Muslim, something like that. So anyway, so this person, he, most of them, they said, they said, okay, you, they will sit down, they say, oh God, if you are truly there, and you know, uh, you know, if you are there, well, answer me, show me the God, show me whatever, yeah, this thing. And in many occasions, that God has showed them signs about, about his existence, signs. So now here to say, okay, now people, they say, well, if, unfortunately, in many signs, they don't consider the practical side, which being practiced by the people, things that happen, the reality, in real life, which is in the statistics, in the statistics they, they accept it, in the statistics. But when it comes to, to science, they say, why don't they accept it? For example, there are many people, we have 1.8 billion Muslims on earth, and they have their supplications. Some of them they supplicate and their, answer, their question or whatever their request been answered, or many of them they said it. And many of them they have experienced in their life certain things and they were in severe situation and they made a dua, they made this supplication and these things happened. Why would them consider this as fact if it happens? So you're saying if these, if you, if the supplications are granted, you, you are asking why we're not considering that as a fact for existence? Not by one God. person, not by one person. Well, by, like a, if by, by millions of persons. Millions of people. And you say that uh, that should be a fact for... Uh, why not? I'm saying why not? Because, for example, causation and correlation, and causation and correlation are not the same thing. Okay. But every time you clap and an earthquake happens doesn't mean, or if 100,000 people clap and then an earthquake happens, that doesn't mean... Yeah. Um, if you if if you clap or enough people clap, that earthquakes exist. Okay. Or earthquakes happen. Like, and it, I generally I was. But here we're not talking about clap. We're talking about submitting yeah, I, I, to the Creator. I'm just, I was just giving and an asking. You do see, do you see the point. But that's the point here. But you already accepted a theory which is not even which is not even an assumption, and you accepted it. And it has no basis, it has no practical sign, you accepted it. Which theory? For example, to say that, you know, the expansion of the universe and, 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 and the shrink of the universe, you said, you said this, is, this is the theory, I could accept it. You accept it without even any proof, without even any practical side of it. Ah, you Do you see, why, 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 for example, you have this imbalance, and this, for, for example, imbalanced way to deal with the things, to say, but well, these are people who have went through certain things, and they have done it, and it happened to them. And this is a practical side. Yeah, I'm talking about a practical side. I, yeah, I you see, see the what point. You're saying, but to be fair, with you know theories you read about in distinguished uh, natural science journals, you don't say, "Oh, I don't believe it until you yeah, show me the yeah, because of papers be, that they because make up the evidence. because the natural science, the natural science, they don't they don't accept religious, for example, for example, theories. They will not accept it. Of course. Not. Generally, they don't. But that's that's a mistake of the people. It's not. It's, this is not the issue of the you know. This is not the issue of the religion. This is the issue of them. They don't want to accept it as facts. No. And I'm talking about facts, I'm talking about things, 
people, including myself, including many, many brothers and sisters in the world, who literally they have, they went through this, and they have, they supplicate for certain things. For, I'm, I'm not talking about something happens around them. I'm talking about specific things, very specific, detailed thing for them, not yeah. for someone else. Yeah, for them. Yeah? I, I for them. And one, not one person, not two person, not two, not three, not four, not five, and hundreds of thousands, millions, yeah. millions, or trillions of people, they have, they have, they went through this. Okay, hold on a second. Why did this happen? And how, why we don't accept it as at least in terms of, if we want to use it as statistics, how those people, they have accepted it. And they, and they know it is true. You see the point? So that's why, you know, when they, you know, because of the, many of the science, many of the science, for example, scientific uh, journals or whatever, they are biased. In terms, they, they, they wanted to. They wanted. They only. They narrow the science in only in certain things. They just narrow it in this. There is no out of this. They just only accept the science which is within within the categories which they which well, they which to, they accept. To be fair, if you're writing a journal about astrophysics and the Big Bang, you don't. And you you, you present research. You don't uh, into your research theory Salam. include um, you know theories about God because yeah. it's about it's about science and not mm, religion. Yeah. Why why not? For example, why why we nullify? For example, when I told, when I told about the probability, the full the full probability yeah, get, of the existence of the universe, why why is not why is not included in any of the of the on any of the journals? Well, first of all, this is what uh, what you're saying is probably the perspective of Islam, right? No, not Islam. Or Just uh, let let alone let's say let, let's say you know uh, it's, it's, you could you could name it whatever you want to name it. The the point is. to see that the the the, bi the because they are biased in terms of they are narrowing the facts in certain things, due to this, for them, of course, they will not accept something which is, goes outside of their own way of thinking. That's the, that's, that's the point, uh, which it wasn't, that was in the case, for example, during the dark ages in the, in, in the European country, that the, the Muslims, they were, they were flourishing, I mean, in terms of science and, 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 the, and the... Yeah, because and the, the church repressed the sciences and, and, is, and Islam supports science. Yeah. Islam um, goes with science. Islam, because we believe science doesn't contradict the facts about the existence of God. It doesn't it, if it's true science, and if it goes against, if it goes in the right way, it, that Islam doesn't it definitely ah, what's doesn't. What's the right way? What's true science? What's the true science? Things which based on facts, not based on assumptions. Okay. Based on facts, meaning the sun rises from the west, from the east. This fact, it's a fact. So the sun rises. That's a fact. No one, no two will say to you, you know, maybe it's not. No, everyone agrees on this. That's a fact. Yeah? yeah. So as as long as, for example, about even the fact about the sun, the moon, the things about our existence, about our eyes, we have two eyes, all of these things, yeah, facts, things which is based on facts, it doesn't contradict Islam. Simple as that. Yeah, I mean, that the, it doesn't contradict Christianity that the sun rises in the east and sets in the west. No, but it contradicts. And contradicts there are many, there are many, many scientific facts contradict Christianity. Yeah, absolutely. That's I'm, the I'm point. Just, I'm just but saying, but is this not the case of Islam? There's a challenge, you know, in Islam that. Like God in Islam, you know, he challenges everybody to, if you have any mistakes, if you like, so you, he can uh, speak uh, to you about it. Yeah. Uh, so the, the point is, that's why when I say to you, there is no contradiction between science and Islam, the true science, Maybe. the facts yeah. Yeah, of Islam. So due to this, Islam, many of the, many of those, as I told you, many of those scientific, uh, scientists, many of those, you know, uh, philosoph philosophers, or you name them, Many of them they have they accepted Islam because Islam literally goes with the with the right intellectual you could say thinking. It okay. goes with it. It doesn't go against it. Yeah. Yeah. It goes with the with these understanding with these the logical understanding. It doesn't go it doesn't go against it. And that is this is the thing which we are inviting people to Islam. And that's why when I say to you, and this is the advice for you and advice for anyone who is thinking to rethink and read Islam. Read read the Quran. Read what the Quran is saying. For example, the Quran starts with, 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 with the second chapter of the Quran that talks about if, you, if, if, if there is any contradiction, that, uh, you know, then you know, just get, get, find any contradiction in the Quran. So God is challenging from the beginning of the Quran to find any contradiction. And this book, it has no doubt. So Allah says there is no doubt in this book. So that means if you find doubt, bring it up. And this challenge was for the last 1400 years. People, they give random things. They give random things. They give different things. They give whatever they wanted to do. But here, the Quran goes again, again. This is what, what this is. Uh, please find his name, please. Uh. I didn't find, like, uh, I don't have internet. Okay. Then, because you said um, science or Islam is in keeping with science or the other way around. Then I have to ask, how specific does it, uh, Islam get, for example, with 
the creation of the universe, the founding of the of the universe. Because in, in the in Catholicism and Christianity, yeah. it's of course Genesis. You know, God created Earth in seven days, and on the seventh day he he rested and stuff. Yeah. This is very very specific. And of course, or of course, well, you see, the cynical atheist would say, oh. People just conjured up these whole religious stories, and the yeah. Christ Christians were just, just stupid enough to make it so precise that after a few hundred years, people found out that it was not true. So how how so does that's how a contradiction. concrete? So that's a contradiction. Why, why, why so you found the contradiction? Right? Yeah, in, in Christianity. Yes. 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 Exactly. Yeah, yeah. How how com how how? Yeah. yeah. No, By the way, his name is. I, I was reading. His name Jeffrey is Jeffrey Lang. Okay. Jeffrey Lang. Yeah. But he this, is though. Okay, but this is what I'm asking. Yeah. I, I haven't read the Quran yet. Okay. Stuff, so, um, how specific, how concrete does Islam get about the creation of the universe? Okay. Firstly, for example, God has mentioned the Quran about the heavens and earth. They were in one piece, then they split. God has mentioned this in the Quran. Okay. So the heavens and earth, which means the heavens and earth, everything. You mean like heaven and earth. Like heaven and earth. Right? Yeah. They came. They were together. And then they split. God has mentioned this in the Quran. Okay. There are many scientific facts in the Quran. Like, I'm not talking about theories. I'm, I'm talking about facts okay. now. Now listen to this. Yeah, I will give you now. Now I will tell you something. If I ask you a certain question now, I want you honestly to say to me, can someone who was 1400 years ago living in the desert of the Arab Peninsula, is he able to bring these facts? So I, I will tell you now. If you, now you, you, I, I will ask you now. Let me give you a bit, a bit of insight about Muhammad, peace be upon him. An illiterate man, yeah. illiterate person, someone yeah. who cannot read and write, was a shepherd for some part of his life. Became, he, did a, he did some merchant or whatever, he traded some time. Yeah. Then, you know, at the age of 40, came down from the mountain and saying, I'm a prophet of God, and then starts conveying a message of God to the people. Yeah. People, then the, the, the challenge that was given to the people, the Arabs, they are the people of the language. They were very known with their language, and by the Arabic language is way more sophisticated than English and all of this European and Latin even language. Very sophisticated language. And yet, came to them, those are, they were known, they were well known with the people of the language, especially the people of Mecca. And he came to them in a, in a strong language to the extent when they heard that they said, this cannot be said by a normal human being. Themselves, not someone else. I'm talking about themselves. Yeah, themselves. So in terms, of, in terms of the language, it was so sophisticated. But this language has well other aspects, not just only the, the, as a poetry or something like that. It has other things as well. It has facts. It talks about facts. Even the Quran, we don't claim that the Quran is a science book, but we, we claim the Quran has scientific facts. So those are two different things. So one thing, God has said in the Quran 1400 years ago, what, before that, the question is, what is the absolute knowledge of someone 1400 years ago about cosmology, about the stars? I want to move soon to the light, yeah? Yeah, okay, inshallah. Okay, inshallah. All right. Where, where do you want to move? Over there, but for now, I'm speaking. Okay, inshallah. Yeah? What is, the, what is the knowledge of someone 1400 years ago about stars and the details of the stars and all of these things? Well, what I did mean, you know? I'm, I'm not too versed in that topic, but I know that the ancient um, Arab scholars did quite uh, know a lot about um, this, uh, this, stars this, and Islam. This is after Islam, this after Islam, not before Islam. After, uh, after Islam. I thought they were very early. No, no, like after Islam, no, okay. after Islam. Um, then I, I can't say, honestly, I have no clue. Okay. I, I, I can't speak on these historic facts. Simple. 1400 years ago, God has said in the Quran to Muhammad, peace be upon him. Yeah? We're here? Stay here if you want. Is I'm, I'm shining like this way. I'm having another combo. Okay. Up to you, whatever. You want me to move here? No, no. It's the reason why I'm saying there's not going to be no light. Because I'm recording another conversation. But okay, khair, inshallah. Just wait, inshallah, for five minutes, inshallah. Yeah. Okay. Now, what, what God has said in the Quran 1400 years ago, I will not make, say to Muhammad, I will not make an oath by the positions of the stars. And it is a great oath. But you are not yet aware of that. So God is saying, when God is making an oath by something in the Quran, showing that this something is important, something you need to reflect. So God is talking about the position of the, of the stars, not the stars themselves, position of the stars. And God is saying about this thing is something great, but you need, but if you are at this level, you do, you cannot comprehend what is what's going on there. Yeah. Now, 1400 years ago, people, when you look into the sky, now it's rainy. When you look into the sky, you see stars. But what you see actually, you see. Light. You see history, yeah? Yeah, your light traveling to the stars. Yeah, it, yeah, it travels millions of years in the space until yeah. it comes to your eyes. 
So what you see in the sky, you see the position of the star. As they were. As time. they were at that time. Yeah. Who taught Muhammad about this 1400 years ago? How would I know? I'm asking. How do you think he will know? So he cannot just sit there and... Can he just sit and he observe and he found it like this by randomly? Okay. I mean, so are you saying oh, who, how he could have known about this? Yeah. Well, I can't peer into his mind, I can't say. You know, he said that came from God. He claimed that came from God. You said, you said because he had this very precise information that we were only, so found out only like not even 200 not years ago. Yeah, exactly. Like more, like even more, a list, like, yeah, you know, but, a list of I, I guess, but like, yeah. like for example, precise, for example, you know? yeah, yeah. This, yes. you're saying because he had maybe so many facts that are so precise and yeah. so, now, now very scientifically, yeah. Yeah. that's why he um, he had, it had to come from, from from God. Okay, another 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 thing that God has said as well in the Quran. Those who doesn't follow the guidance of God, as if someone who's deep in the bottom of the ocean, above him there is a wave, above the wave there is another wave, above the sea there is a cloud. Even if he took his hand out of his pocket, he will be, he will be not able to see it. Darkness upon darkness. So God is describing certain darkness, yeah, certain darkness. So we're talking about someone who's deep in the bottom of the ocean. And people at that time, they used to, what do you think the deepest point someone 1400 years ago could, could dive? Of course, they can swim. swim. What's the dip? How, how much he can dive? Hundreds of meters down. Okay. Well, my, can they reach the ten? bottom of the ocean? Ten? Let's if say it's, ten. If it's very shallow. Ten. Maybe twenty. Ten, maybe twenty. So we're talking about deep in the bottom of the ocean, yeah. which is recently found out. So there is, they used to see the, the, the waves on the surface of the sea, but none of them understood that underneath, there is another wave that goes in another direction called the, called the sea current. Sea so currents, Yeah, the sea current, which is... I'm, I was just guessing, you know, if you dive in at a, a spot, let's say 10, 20 meters deep, you don't find sea current. The sea, we're talking about sea currents underneath because the pressure, because the, again. Well, I would assume if you have a very shallow, let's say, a river or something, that's not even you can't. But even so, dive. someone who lives in the desert, not even by the sea, you understand? Well, I mean, <laughs> on the Arab Peninsula, they, it's a yeah, peninsula, but right? I understand. But sea. the point is, we're talking about deep in the ocean, and if there is a if there is a cloudy weather. When the sunlight comes, that 40% of the light doesn't go through, and only 60% go through. And if there is the sea, the sea, the, the surface, uh, uh, you could say, waves, they will break the light, and half of it will go, will go in. And if there is another waves that goes in another direction, it will break the remains of the light. And deep in the bottom of the ocean, even if a person will take his hand out of his pocket, he will be not able to see. Who taught him about this? Well, I don't think he has to be taught about this because he could just reduce it, sort of, if you dive, not even, you, you know that it gets darker the deeper you dive, even if you can't dive hundreds of meters. But you know, with a specific, we're talking about the specific, now. listen, no, we're talking about, out, listen, we're talking about specific things, we're talking about cloudy weather, we're talking about uh, a sea, uh, a sea a surface waves, we're talking yeah. about the sea current underneath, and we're, yeah. then we're talking about the dark, all of these, all of these things together. At the time where people used to think the eye could see by itself, and he is saying the absence of the light, it, it is there. About the fetus in the, in the womb of the mother, the details, how it, how it grow, all of these things, how he taught, even historical facts, which even the Christianity got it wrong, historical facts about the Pharaoh and the king during Joseph and Moses, that it was uh, the Islam, it's only, it was answered only recently when, when this uh, English, English man, when he found, when he discovered and tried to, uh, uh, and, and translated the old hieroglyphic language into oh, Latin. That was described in Islam. As well, as well. Uh, Quran has mentioned about the king at the time of Joseph as a king. He was in the Pharaoh, where the only source for history at that time was through the Bible, and the Bible claims that it was Pharaoh. Only this and Islam, they used to call king, king, the time of Joseph. Yeah. And the time of Moses was Pharaoh. And Christian used to take a mic of the Muslims, they used to say, you, your Quran is wrong because describing that thing, they didn't say, say about him, he's a Pharaoh. Yeah. Until, yeah. until recently, yeah. that they discovered, about the, when they discovered the Risotto Stone, and they discovered that historically facts, that during the time of Joseph, when the Hoxos was yeah. ruling, they were kings, they were not Pharaohs. Yeah. Only later on, the Pharaoh was there. Well, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying, or I would not assume that just because um, now it was recently confirmed by history, by historians or something, that Islam cannot have a historical account of this, right? It was written 1400 years ago. Yeah, but at the same time, Bible was written before it, and Torah yeah. was written before it, and yet they were calling maybe Pharaoh. They, maybe they got it wrong. And why Islam got it right, where they are not even living in Egypt? Yeah, I mean... <laughs> You yeah, see the point? I'm not, I'm not, see, I'm not saying that the Bible is a good historical source by no But means. that was the only source for the people. You see the point is, what I'm saying, what I'm saying to you, open your mind to find the truth. Not just only to say to yourself, you know what, I'm just, I'm this. I'm saying, I'm advising you and encouraging you to read the Quran, 
read these facts of the Quran, read about of all of these things, scientific facts about in the Quran, which is, talks about specific things that came right and only proves that uh, only recently was proven. Yeah. And Muhammad Tisra never claimed to be historian, never claimed to be uh, whatever. Yeah. So this is my advice for you, inshallah. We had a good discussion, inshallah, with you. And thank you for your time. And thank you for everyone for the discussion. And I wish you all the best. Just try, you know, the brother, inshallah, if you have a Quran or something, then I'm we'll sure try. He will know, uh, he yeah. Will do his research. Yeah. All right. Okay. Nice meeting you. Your name is Franz. Yeah. Nice meeting you, Franz. All right. All right.